Reading and today is Friday Reads. I had a pretty good reading week and I had a lot of other things going on so let's get on with it. So the first book that I finished um, was called Chills by Mary Sangiani. I think that's how it is. And I got this from Not Galley for a review. I'm just bringing up the cover now. Cover. So that's the cover. Chills. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, this comes out on September 27th. It's a thriller. I've got the cat already bothering me, so please bear with me. Um, I enjoyed the storyline and the characters. There's a freak snowstorm in May in Connecticut, and there's creatures out there being controlled by some club. It, you don't really get to know what they're all about, what the creatures really are. There's not a lot to go on. There's no background on them. So um, that's the reason why I gave it three stars. I did enjoy the storyline. And um, they, the town had shut down because of the snowstorm. They got so much snow so quickly. But um, it was a fast read, but I just felt like things were missing out of this book. I would recommend it. But like I said, it it um, leaves a little bit missing on it. The storyline was really good, though. And then I read the third book of the trilogy, The Remnant Chronicles, called The Beauty of Darkness. And I gave this a five-star. Loved it. Um, this whole trilogy has been awesome. I've had so many emotions reading this. I was upset. I laughed. Um, Princess, I think it's pronounced Leah. It's spelled L-I-A. And then Caden is an assassin. And then the prince is Raf, Rafi. And um, Leah and Rafi were supposed to have been married. And in the first book, if you read it, you know what happened. I don't want to spoil this. But, um... Leah goes back to her kingdom to clear her name of wrongdoing that was told she did and she did not do. So I enjoyed this. Um, there's a war and of course there's no winners because people's lives are lost. So I highly recommend this. It just came out at the end of July. I loved this book. And then I picked up This Is Where It Ends by Mariaki Nijkamp. I'm not good at pronouncing names. I gave this one a three star. Um, I enjoyed the story and the characters. This is about a school shooting. Um, one boy goes in, starts shooting up. We do know certain things about him and why he's mad and why he goes in and does it, but we need more background on him. Um, more about his feelings and what happened. It didn't go into that too much. There's a lot. Each paragraph is is based on someone different. Like his he, his sister's in here. She talks about some things. An ex girlfriend and a couple other people are in this. I I found it a little bit hard to believe that um, the coach and a track team were outside when it happened because it was all during a. Um, something in the auditorium so an assembly in the auditorium so everybody else he had locked locked them all in the auditorium so the track team had heard the shooting and I didn't like how the coach just turned into like this zombie thing he just he, he for an adult he was not very helpful the kids were more mature than he was but um I liked 19 Minutes by Jody Picoult much better than this, but I did, I'm did. i glad that I read this. It was good. And then I will be I will be finishing this weekend Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. Um, this was mentioned, I believe, by Peter Lake's books and a couple other people. I'm on page... 
98. It's okay. I don't know if it's just because of the mood I was in yesterday, but I will continue to keep reading this. And I'm, it, it's okay. I'm, I'm liking it, but I want to like it more. So I'm hoping to get more into the characters. Like I said, I'm only on page 98. It's not that I don't like it. And then this coming week, I will be read. I went to the library, and I got The Girl in 6E by A.R. Torrey. So I heard a lot about that. Um, the Divorce Party by Laura Dave. This I heard from Gwen W. And it ends with Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm having help here by the cat, of course. It ends with Us by... Colleen Hoover. This is supposed to be good. Um, I've read two of her books, one I didn't care for, and then I read um, <clears throat> Confess, and I loved that one, so I will continue to read her books. And then I opened up my own Etsy shop, and I will be make, selling bookmarks on there. So to give you an idea of what they look like, here's one of them another one. They're all hand drawn. <clears throat> These are the ones that are on there now. I only have seven on there as of this moment, but this weekend I will be putting on 13 more that are made. I just have to put the tassels on. So if you're interested in bookmarks and supporting me, then Please check it out before. If not, that's fine too. We're all friends and Yeah, so that's what I've been doing there. And then all these women on the book, some of the women on book two have been talking about color pop ultra matte lip. So I bought three of them to try them out. This one is called Trying to find the name. Bedazzled. And it's a purplish color. So I liked that. And then I got this is the one I'm wearing, and this one's called guess and it's really dark I'm not sure if I'm liking this it's what I have on now and I got this one's called Sunday and this is a pink color so I'm trying these they're a matte um, they seem to last a while, so I'm hoping I like that. Then I bought four Goose Creek candles in the um, fall scents, because fall is my favorite season. I love the smells and the, the colors of the leaves and apples and pumpkins, and Halloween is my favorite. So, yeah, I bought those. And what else has been going on this week? Not a lot. I've been babysitting. We've had a couple cooler days, and we've had a lot of hot days again. And Pearl says hi. Say hi, Pearl. She's been quite a handful still. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to all week, reading and making bookmarks. And, yeah, so I figured I could make a little bit of money while babysitting, too. And that'll be fun. I like bookmarks. Everybody loves bookmarks. So let me know what you're reading and what you're up to and if you're trying any new makeup and um, let me know what you think because I'm not real sure. I'm not used to real dark colors. But I'll talk to you later. Bye.